What's up YouTube? It's Dougie. Uh, everybody else is doing a EDC everyday carry video, so I figured I might as well. Uh, a lot of the people, they get a little crazy. You know, they've got like three knives, just in case the first one goes down, they've got a backup. If the second one goes down, they've got a backup to the backup. Uh, flashlights, everything like that. Uh, right, wrong, or indifferent. Uh, I'm sure somebody will have something to say that I'm doing this or that wrong, uh, but I carry what I carry. Uh, super minimalistic, uh, but here's what I have. So uh, the first thing is a pin. Uh, I carry a Sharpie just because you can write on anything with it. Uh, fine tip, so it works just as well uh, going old school, writing a check, writing a note, whatever, or writing permanently on something else. Got an old timer. So the tactical thing to do is carry like a serrated uh, folding knife, fighting knife, tactical knife, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's an old timer that was given to me by my uncle uh, before he passed away. Uh, I think he said he'd had this since like the 70s or 80s. So it's just kind of like a family pass down. Uh, it does a trick. It's not a fighting knife. It's not anything. It's utilitarian. It's a freaking tool. Like that's what all of this stuff is. I can see the reasons for, I guess, carrying a serrated knife, being all cool and everything, but... I don't. At work, I carry one. I carry like a cheap, probably $20 uh, folding knife with a serrated edge locking all of that. Uh, that I think one of the guys got me for Christmas. I think it's my lieutenant got it for me for Christmas. Uh, I lose them. Uh, this one, thankfully, I haven't yet. Hopefully, I don't. When it comes to wallets, I don't carry one. I used to carry the uh, like a standard folding leather wallet, like the Trifold. Uh, I had the habit of carrying a bunch of crap, like getting a business card, putting it in there, receipts, putting it in there, gift cards, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it got really thick uh, and I started noticing that it was actually like messing my back up. Whenever I'd be sitting on it, uh, I'd always be canned off to the side a little bit and it just didn't work. So I went super minimalistic. I carry a debit card, a driver's license, and uh, my license to carry. Uh, so speaking of that, Glock 19, super ubiquitous, uh, nine mil. Everybody loves a nine mil. Uh, super simple gun, no external safeties other than the uh, safety action trigger. Super reliable and it was pretty cheap. Uh, Glock has, in case you don't know about it, Glock has a blue label program, first responders, police, fire, EMS, uh, and military up to two a year. I think this one was 450. It's a Glock 19 Gen 5, uh, no finger grips. It's got the, the magwell cut out. I like it. So controversy. I do not carry a spare mag on my person. Uh, I understand the reasoning to carry semi-automatic weapons. Uh, the number one fail point is the magazine. I get it. Um, I don't like to dress like all tactical and whatever, wear me, I, I call them the shoot me pants like the 511s that you stick out. People see you and they're like, oh yeah, that dude's a cop or that dude's carrying. I don't prefer to wear that stuff. I wear jeans or like straight leg khaki shorts. So I really don't have a whole lot of room. As you may know, the 19 is 15 in the magazine, one in the chamber, so 16 rounds. Uh, it's got a little weight to it. So it's one of those things, it'll throw me off balance. I know that it's a decision that I'm making. Could it 
if I ever had to use um, my sidearm, like, could that decision prove lethal? I guess it could. Uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. I do carry a spare mag in my truck uh, along with everything else. So if you've been watching this channel, if you're just coming to the channel and you're looking around, one thing you will notice is I had a, I did a video a couple weeks back, uh, 18 things everyone should carry in the car. So everyone talks about everyday carry. They talk about what they have on their person. Uh, I think it's just important everything we have in our vehicle. So I did a video on that. Um, there is stuff in, uh, in my vehicle. There's a couple things I didn't put on there that are in there. One of the things is a spare magazine. What good does it do me in the truck if I'm not in there? I get it. But moving on. While we're on the topic of things I carry in my person, before we move into the stuff that I carry in my truck, is my phone. A lot of EDC people don't really mention the phone, uh, but I think it's pretty valuable. So one thing you'll notice I don't carry, that some people do, is a flashlight. Why don't I carry a flashlight? Because my phone has a pretty amazing one. It's got the same stuff on there. It's got the strobe feature. It's got the flashlight feature. Uh, so I don't feel like I need to replicate uh, responsibilities and tasks there. And it's also got weather radar app on there. I think that even for those that aren't a weather nerd, you should still always keep track of what the weather's doing, not just the forecast, not just the, this is, it's gonna 20% chance of rain at 1 p.m. Uh, a actual weather radar that is live, uh, preferably with warnings and watches, is also essential to have. I was out and about in the truck in heard a tornado warning on the radio in the area. It was nice to actually be able to uh, look at the map and see where the warning was in relation to my location and therefore get to a safe spot. Uh, moving on to the stuff that I keep in the truck as my everyday carry is my med kit. So before we get too deep into it, I don't take a, put a whole lot of stock in the uh, fancy med kits, the fancy bags, little holders for everything, zippers, Velcro, all of that nonsense. It's window dressing. Yeah, are they great? Do they look cool? Are they functional? Yeah, I guess they can be, but a vacuum bag is just as good. Uh, and the cool thing about it is if say I let somebody borrow my truck or if I use it, my wife uses it, they get into the med bag or something like that, I can easily uh, see that it is opened and it's just as simple as take a quick inventory, replace what is missing and go to the vacuum sealer and seal it all back up. So getting into the contents. I carry a cat tourniquet. There's several different types of tourniquets out there that we're not gonna get into with this video. We're not gonna start that conversation, but I carry a cat tourniquet, uh, TEC, TECC approved. Um, this is pretty much the standard. This is what you're gonna see uh, the military, police, uh, fire, EMS. This is what everybody's gonna carry. Uh, super simple to use. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go into uh, how to use it. I can in a later video, uh, I probably will. Getting into the bag itself, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. It's super utilitarian. Some uh, Coban, horse tape, at athletic tape, whatever you want to call it self-adhesive wrap. So basically whenever you take it off the roll, put it around whatever, it sticks to itself. Amazing for a lot of different reasons. A little pack of uh, exam gloves in my size, uh, four pack, just to uh, keep other people's blood and nastiness off of you. 
Israeli bandage. Uh, these are pretty awesome. Uh, again, this isn't the time or place to go into how to use everything. But basically, this wound dressing allows you to wrap it around. It has a little turnbuckle that you put the uh, dressing through, allows you to wrap back, get a very tight, uh, tight pressure on that to stop the bleed. Some quick clot, uh, two different kinds, both uh, wound packing style and external. Very good. And another Israeli bandage. Um, these can be easily found on Amazon, uh, at CVS, Walgreens, all over the web. Down below, I do have the uh, links to these on Amazon. Uh, they are affiliate links, so if you purchase through these links, I do see a little bit of money. It helps keep the channel going, helps me get more stuff to show y'all. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, comment below. Of course, if you like what you're seeing, press the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell. That allows you to be notified anytime I make these new videos. Uh, and check out the video that I have right here, the 18 essentials for cars. See you next time.